Right, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got uh, another video looking at a model I've either finished building um, or um, a kit that I've designed. Um, today we're back on uh, models I've finished building um, and today specifically we're looking at this. We're looking at my model of uh, the Talilin Loco um, which I've built um, not from a kit as such but I've built it by um, essentially destroying a Batman uh, model of Scarlo, the Thomas and Friends um, loco. Um, so I thought I'd <clears throat> talk a bit about uh, what I did, uh, what I've used and um, how we've ended up with this model and what's what's different about it. Um, obviously there's been a bit of a, a build series so if you want to go and look at those videos uh, there's probably some more in-depth um, details on some on some of the on some of the things. Uh, but this is the this is the original um, let me just try and move the light a bit so it's not quite so reflective. There we go. Um, so this is the original uh, Scarloe model that I started from. Um, so you can see face. Um, there's a huge big solid slab in the cab. Um, I mean it's a toy. I mean I know it's the box says um, I think it, you know somewhere on it it says you know it, it's a collector's, collector's item not for children under whatever. Um, I think actually it says 14 plus on the box uh, right there. Um, so it's a toy, but it's um, it is you know it is what it is. Um, it's a fairly accurate model of um, of Talilin that Scalo is originally based on. Um, wheelbase is pretty good. Uh, proportion of tanks. Um, the cylinders are very overscale. They're very very wide and very chunky. Uh, but that's partly to make it um, easier and slightly more robust as a as a toy. Um, that's also the same as the reason for the big plate in the cab. It makes the the cab quite quite solid and chunky. Um, but in general, it, it's not a it's not a bad model. Um, I've actually had this one, this well, both of the models, the the model I've abused, uh, and this one um, came from what I think was one of the first batches uh, of the kits to arrive in the UK. Um, they were originally only available in the US, so uh, there was a couple of uh, companies that imported kind of uh, batches of them into the UK, and this was one of the one of the first batches to arrive. Um, there were some issues when you strip these down. A lot of people have had the same problem when stripping them down. Uh, the wires tend to to break and come undone, so that's that's been a bit of a problem throughout the throughout the build. Uh, but anyway, let's have a let's have a look at the the final the final model, um, and then we'll we'll have a look at some of the things that are different. So as you can see, I've gone for a kind of um, rather dirty, used, abused um, model. Um, but there are lots of things that have been have been changed. I mean, obviously, the most obvious one is we don't have a face. We have a proper smoke box door. Um, that smoke box door and um, thinner, smaller cylinders, more uh, sensible sized cylinders, uh, are from a kit that Narrow, Narrow Planet did, um, a detailing kit um, to try and help people uh, turn this into something into something more realistic. Um, and many people did just that, so they just changed the cylinders, which involved also changing the, the slide bars, crosshead, and the slide bar supports um, to something um, less less toy like. You can see they're a much finer, much finer um, all metal rather than the plastic um, crossheads of the original. Um, a lot of people did that; they just changed the face, changed the cylinders, repainted um, to get a model. But I went um, a bit further, as if, if you've. Uh, been following along on the um, on the build series, then you'll know that um, I've hacked this about good and proper. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a model that was much more accurate for kind of early uh, life of the of the loco of Talilin. Not very early uh, when it was just a, an 040, but after obviously after it had the the training wheel um, added. So that involved quite a lot of hacking around. So one thing that's um, less obvious is that the original model has um, a kind of complete foot plate um, uh, along the entire loco and has splashes over the wheels. Um, they're not part of the original original loco, so I've hacked these off entirely um, on this side. Um, so there's nothing um, on this side at all. You can see right to the to the wheels. On the other side, um, the there was no splashes, but there was a kind of thin strip um, for uh, probably a fireman to stand on when he climbed up, used the handrail 
uh, to add the, the water uh, into the tank. So you can see I've added, I've added that strip, but I've also, um, there was no handrail um, on this model. There's a kind of printed line across the top here, uh, but no actual handrail. So I've, um, I've added a, an extra handrail from, from wire. Um, so that's one of the main differences. So that meant essentially cutting the foot plate is all one piece. Uh, so that meant cutting it essentially into two sections, taking off the splashes and everything else, and then using some metal, uh, thin metal strip to add this this bar back in. Um, also, the original model only had the original logo only had one sandbox on the front. So there's one on that side. I've taken the one off this side. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so there's a there's a handrail around the front. I guess that's for getting up and helping open the smoke box, uh, clean the smoke box. There is one on the model, but again, it's just a line on the casting. It's not um, it's not accurate. Um, I also it's harder to tell, especially now they've been painted. But I um, I cut the chimney off um, and turned a new a new brass chimney on the lathe. So this is slightly more accurate to the drawings I had than the one on the original. Um, yeah, and then there's all sorts of other little bits of pipe work. So we've got a pipe work here into the into the smoke box. I think that's the yeah, and pipe work here. Um, on the original loco, there was only coal on one side. Um, the Scalo model has coal on both. So again, I, I ground that off in the mill, added the plate and the pipe work that's there on the original. Um, other things I did, so the the window surrounds are brass again turned on the lathe um the buffer block the book the buffers um uh on the original um the suspe suspicion is that they were quite thick wooden blocks with a metal band around um which don't really come show up on the on the model at all they're just kind of plastic chunks so again these were turned on the lathe to have a kind of um strip around the edge uh, and then painted up um, yeah, and then also you can kind of just about see it's a bit jerky to see through the door, but there's a fully detailed cab. I've obviously cut out the plate that was in the way. Um, so if you kind of try and see both of those together, you can see this one, you can't see through the front windows because this plate's in the way. So again, I've machined that off um, and added a, a cab detailing um, as well as kind of um, handles around the back of the cab. Um, so yeah, so lots and lots of lots and lots of changes. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been quite frustrating at times. I say it's taken quite a few years um, now, almost seven, I think, since I started um, to to finish it off. Lots of things, life got in the way, uh, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, it's looking dirty, um, looked after, but 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 used, um, and it's a lot more accurate to the. Oops, to the original few. <laughs> Oh, heart stopping moment. Sorry, uh, <laughs> so pause while I uh, get my breath back. Um, yeah, a lot more accurate to the original um, loco in its kind of pre-preservation um, state than um, than the the, the toy uh, the toy model. Um, yeah, I'm going to be slightly more careful how I'm holding it now. Um, uh, and it runs lovely. I I did as I say I had problems with a lot of the wires, so I've actually taken out the suppression circuit it runs fine just on the straight track voltage it was just more hassle than worth it kept getting in the way um and yeah I'll, as i say obviously i'll put a i'll put a video up here somewhere as we talk about shuttling backwards and forwards it runs really really nicely on the track still uh that's another shot inside the cab um the cab details tip based on a photo of the the kind of current inside of the cab i i can't couldn't find an old an old photo to compare that against uh, but I think it's 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 good enough. And as I say, it's it's to give an impression of what's in there. You can see gauge glasses and and things rather than being uh, necessarily entirely accurate. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. It's um, as I say, it's taken a long time, um, been a bit of a, a hassle over the times um, getting it right, getting it to look right, getting it to feel right, getting it to run right. Uh, I mean, changing all the um, slide bars and stuff from, from the original uh, meant there was quite a bit of work to do. Um, but yeah, uh, really happy with how that's turned out. Um, so um, I do have another, uh, have a, um, a Reneus model. So there will be more uh, butchering of Thomas and Friends models on the channel at some point. Um, I might go back and do, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next um, as my next model. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to do some more kit design, uh, a more traditional kit or, or another one of um, these 
uh, kind of backdating of the the Thomas and Friends kits. Um, but yeah, for now, um, really, really happy with how that's turned out. Uh, lots of weathering powders since it was last seen on the channel to kind of give a, a even dirty look than I had before. Uh, used some white to try and suggest that you know they weren't too careful with cleaning it down when the water came out of the of filling the water tank. Um, probably still needs a driver and, and fireman figures. Uh, we'll get to that, I think, at some point. But I think, um, yeah, compared with the compared with the Batman and Friends uh, toy, I think it's looking really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with how it's how it's turned out now. Um, I'm not sure how it'll compare um, to the models that Batman release of Tally Lynn themselves. Um, they are doing one now um, in. But it's basically this this model without the face and a di and different paint scheme. Um, so I'm still hoping that mine will um, will look suitably different with all the different hacking around of the the footplate and things to not be obviously the Thomas and Friends model. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll um, yeah hopefully people will will like it if they see it and it won't look um, won't look out of place on uh, on a layout in the same way that um, this running around a, a more traditional layout um, would. So yeah, there we go. Talidin in 009, um, having completely and utterly butchered the uh, Thomas and Friends Skylighter model.